Hello guys, welcome to A Touch of Film. Uh, today I am reviewing Killing. This is directed by Shinya Sukamoto. If you're new to my channel, uh, Shinya Sukamoto, he's a uh, auteur of Japanese cinema. Probably one of the best contemporary directors in Japan. His films, uh, one of his films, Tetsuo uh, uh, Iron Man, was one of the films that galvanized uh, Japanese cinema in uh, I think it was the 80s, it was late 80s, and he created a resurgence for Japanese cinema uh, at a time when it wasn't doing as well as it used to. Um, but yeah, Shinya Sukamoto, I'm a big fan of his work. His films are quite wacky and bonkers. Uh, this is very different to some of his other uh, other films. Uh, more like his he he's going this different direction at the moment. Um, yeah, this stars Ikumatsu Susaku uh, Susuke, um, who some people may know from The Last Samurai, which was a Tom Cruise film. Uh, it also stars uh, Shinya Sukamoto himself in this. He does star in his own films uh, most of the time. Uh, this film is a uh, Chambara film, which is a genre of period samurai movies uh, in Japan. Uh, so very much like your Akira Kurosawa films or, or, or if you've seen um, uh, 13 Assassins, uh, very much in that sort of samurai style. Um, and it tells the story of uh, Shinya Sukamoto's character who's uh, going around trying to recruit ronins who are like uh, masterless samurais who no longer fight for a family uh, to go on this fight to defend a shogun. And we meet a uh, uh, so Suke's character, who at the time is working on a farm, he's helping out this the, this village uh, in their uh, farming, protecting them really. Um, they've got bandits coming in who are, uh, who are intimidating these villagers, and he's seen by Sukumoto, uh, character, uh, practicing his. Um, his uh, sword skill and from there he's approached to go on this quest uh, to uh, to uh, defend this Shogun. Uh, unlike Tsukamoto's work, um, it's, not, it's not just the fact that this is a complete genre change because he's not really touched on period movies that I know of uh, before. Uh, this is very much uh, a film that's not set in the modern era. His films are usually either set in the future or in present day. So this is just a complete uh, crazy, like this is just blows my mind that he's he's finally doing a, a samurai movie, which I'd never thought he'd ever do. Uh, but also another thing that is very different from his other work, this is pretty much his one of his least violent films that I've seen. Um, Whilst it being a samurai movie, you do see like uh, two fight scenes, one being pretty violent, but not as violent as like Tetsu any of the Tetsuo films. Uh, and one other uh, fight which isn't hardly violent at all. This is pretty tame for him really. Um, and, but then again, it has got his uh, usual elements that we see in his film, like the shaky cam, uh, which, which during fight scenes is so immersive and it, it really puts you into the scene and you you feel like you're you've got your in between these fighters because it's just so disorientating uh, it's, it's something that he does a lot like chasing people with the shaky cam or just just following around it's it, uh it, it it it's just as to his style it's, it's quite like intense uh also you see these fast cuts which is another thing he he usually does so this it, it, whilst it is not like his usual genre and style he has got elements of his film so you do feel like okay this is not one of his films but you're watching it oh it is uh sort of thing uh this film really does sort of like play on the whole theme of violence and uh uh, what does it really mean? Like uh, you see uh, a young Ronin uh, played by Sosuke, who does he really want to be uh, fighting? He because 
it, it does play onto the whole theme of uh, is it really worth it to fight? But yeah, I, I enjoyed this film. It's, whilst it is very different, and I was really surprised by watching it, I I did enjoy it. I thought it was visually this it. <sighs> It, it may be boring to a lot of people to not see like this great uh, spectacle of uh, you know of scenery and everything. It, it feels like it's just so enclosed and and we're not really we're only stuck in this village and we're not seeing a lot of um, of of uh, Japan or this great adventure that we led to believe is going to happen uh, whilst the film is so sh concise it's it's an 80 minute long film so we the, the whole concept in it from the beginning that oh we're going to go be, be a, there's going to be a big fight there is no big payoff for a big massive fight whilst there is sort of like a, a medium sized fight at the end it's not what we in, expect to see uh, which isn't really a spoiler alert because uh, it it it's not about a big fight this film so don't go in there thinking oh we're going to be seeing a massive you know battle we're not it's not this film is not about that and it, it it's a very dark film and it um and it just revolves around really one character uh, which is Sosuke's character and his real conflict with war uh, and it's a very interesting film and a very good character analysis uh, I highly recommend it to anyone who can, gets a chance to see it I do feel it's going to get like a blu-ray it, it will get blu-ray releases and probably very small cinema releases in the US or UK I think it has got a US release uh, I'm not too sure about UK though it, probably will get a limited release his films don't get like massive um cinematic theater releases so fingers crossed we do get to see something um yeah guys that is my review of killing uh if you are a fan of shinya sukamoto comment below let me know what your favorite of his movies is uh there's just so many isn't there um i've spoken about his films before like the um third window releases they really do show a lot of love for his titles so yeah i know a lot of people a lot of my subscribers pick up his blu-ray so yeah you'll probably be able to tell me what your favorite movie is out of those um yeah guys uh thanks for watching hit that subscribe button i've got more videos coming uh click like and i will see you next video guys take it easy